call this meeting of the Prosper Independent School District to order. Let the record show the quorum of board members is present. This meeting has been duly called. Notice this meeting has been posted in accordance with Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551. Miss Smith, would you do us the honor, please? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for just an awesome beginning of the school year. Thank you for our teachers, our custodians, administrators, cafeteria workers, Lord, just everyone who touches the lives of our children. Bless them and their families, Lord. Please give our school board tonight the wisdom to steer our district in the right path. Lord, we say and ask all these things in your most merciful name. Amen. the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seth Phillips, please come on up. Hi, my name is Seth Phillips. I am the speech and debate coach at Prosper High School, and I'm here with an invitation. Um, so I have a handout that I wanted to pass out. But I'm here to personally invite you to serve as a judge, a VIP judge, on our final round panels at our Prosper High School speech and debate tournament. Uh, it's the last week in all what last weekend in October and on the afternoon of Saturday October the 28th we'll be hosting our speech and interp final rounds and so I'd like to invite both you um, Dr. Watkins, Ms. Ferguson, Dr. Brantley and any other administrators who may uh, be interested in serving as a final round uh, judge. Um, you can see some of the events that we have uh, that will be uh, competing at our tournament, uh, but this is an opportunity for students from across the DFW area to compete in various speech and debate events and um, to learn how to adapt to different judges, which is why I am here, is to give you an opportunity to provide our students and other competitors some feedback on how they can be better performers in their events or speakers uh, in competition. Um, if you are interested, there are a couple of optional sessions to get a brief orientation as to the events, how tournaments work, et cetera, and the dates are provided there on September the 26th and October the 23rd. I'll be doing some sessions for our parents of speech and debate students and giving them an introduction into what is looked for in a round, how to judge various events. And so we have lots of uh, speech and debate parents who will uh, be coming to some of those sessions. I would invite you, if you're interested uh, in judging, uh, to feel free to attend one of those sessions. I gave you my contact information at the bottom of that handout. So if you are interested in an opportunity to uh, invest in some students and um, see what speech and debate looks like at the high school level, uh, I would invite you to uh, join us and just contact me and I'd be happy to get you plugged in. But thank you so much for your time, I appreciate it. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. Thank you, Ms. Phillips, appreciate it. You should have uh, in front of you a copy of the minutes from the last meeting. Questions, comments? That's right. Miss McBride, Miss McBride, Miss McBride, they're doing a great job. Second. All in favor? Good. You can see there, this is uh, from the time of the packet 12,030, we're up to 12,056. We picked up 26 kids in the last five days. That's just our standard. <laughs> There's the progress on the, the elementary sites. Still just dirt. Move on, nothing. The education staff, straight to business. Mr. Craig. Uh, 
we're going to just sum up the in, year in tonight with uh, tentative balances in your investment summary. Uh, just give you an um, overall picture from from the prior year um, in our investments account. Tex pool we increased from 29 million to 33 million dollars during the year. Lone Star, which is our holder of our bond funds, went from 44 million to 105 million. Uh, Independent Bank, which is our depository uh, here locally, went from 35.7 to 34.6. Legacy Bank went from 10.0 million to 10.1, and Farmers Bank went up from zero to 15 million. So the increase was 75.5 million dollars during the year by those different categories of banks, uh, investment to put to. Uh, uh, accounts uh, the the next slide will show you based upon the general fund uh, our general fund went from 62.5 million to 76.5 million interest and sinking fund went up from 3.5 million to, to 6.9 million bond funds is where the biggest gain was because of our recent bond sale back in the March uh, it increased 61.8 million to a total of 109 million for the end of the year. The construction fund, which is a um, half breed of a general fund that we inherited about uh, seven or eight years ago, that that construction fund still has 5.5 million dollars in there, and then all others is basically our activity fund and our workers comp fund, and that went up about a point three from the year. So again, it went up a total of $79.5 million during the year in all investment funds. Just a summary of the revenue for the year end. Uh, we came in at basically where we wanted to be. Um, just a few um, points of interest. Um, the state funds, if you'll see where we came in at 32.3 dollars $32.3 million. That's almost about a $1.5 million over than what the summary of finance actually has. So we, we are probably going to be recognized as lowering our revenue in the federal fund, uh, in the state fund, by $1.5 million. And by the way, during the year, the state pay, overpaid us over $12 million. So that, that much money, that $12 million, would now be allocated for next year. So if we're scheduled to get $26 million next year, now we're only going to get $14 million because that we've already received $12 million more than we had this year. So, but, and Again, to drive that point home, only because we realized that locally. Excuse me. Only because we've realized that amount over locally, they reduced, Correct. They, Correct. they reduced the state amount. So that's just, it balances out in the end. It's just uh, because there's so much local revenue, the state share goes down, which is, you know, the great flaw in the school funding system. Yeah. They kept giving us, sending us money, and we kept putting it in the bank, and we did not recognize it uh, as re revenue uh, as best I could. And then as of last week, they said our revenue uh, was around $30.5 million, uh, and we have it booked at 32. These changes will be corrected during the audit in the month of October and November, and we'll bring it to you in the month of December. Yes, sir. I was, I was expecting our, our I was ex projecting our revenue from the state to be about thirty-two million dollars. I have not the numbers came out Friday, and I have not been able to really digest the the changes. It's going to change several times between here and March because they still do not have all the data work. To be, if I understand your question, so if. if we budgeted 31 million for state revenue you know we're we typically under project students so as we've gotten more students that drops that number down uh, and values uh, that brings the local up so we under projected revenue to begin with uh, and and the fact that we went up a billion 
plus dollars in local valuation that provides the greater gap to where, again, it's a break even at the end of the day, uh, but it's, again, it just puts more on the local side. The, um, the, the only other um, uh, change that was um, increased from last month, we received uh, $600,000. Uh, we wasn't even expecting it. It's the E-rate reimbursement for all those tech, uh, all those land and WAN and uh, projects we use bond money for um, through the technology projects. Uh, we were able to get $600,000 and the check re was received on August the 31st. So we did make that deposit and that's why you see the federal revenue went up to as much as $885,000 and we didn't even budget for that. It just gives you the summary of revenue for the year, 97.1 uh, million compared to this time last year, 88.6 million. Expenses, basically, we're looking at uh, a little less than $82 million in expenses uh, compared to 66 a year ago. Uh, again, this will all be reviewed by our auditor uh, during the, uh, in the next few weeks and we'll present it in the month of December. How does our chapter 41 so far look like? Is it just aggressive in our budget? Actually, uh, we got a notification today. I'm glad you asked, glad you pointed that out. We got an email today that we were, I believe, $27,000 short of paying what the actual came in to be. So we have until uh, September 30th to send them that extra thirty twenty seven thousand dollars so we're, we were aggressive but not as aggressive as it looks so we, uh, as as from the last meeting we approved a some budget amendments and in that second column that's where the amended budget is for each functions uh, again we did not change the original amount from 85.7 million um, and we just divided it up among the different functions. As you can see, we are positive in each of the functions across the board. Uh, this gives you the year, year ending in, uh, in our food service, our uh, uh, debt, ser uh, debt service, as well as our special ed and our athletics. And we, uh, we have achieved basically everything we wanted to be at at this time. Uh, Food service revenue was 4.0 million and expenses was 3.7. There were some changes in that, um, but we met our guarantee with SFE. Uh, interest in sinking fund, you can see where we, uh, original budget was revenue was $23 million. We came in almost at $27 million for the year. Uh, we've paid our, all of our debts as you can see in our uh, investment summary in, in interest and sinking fund, we will have almost $7 million in fund balance in the interest and sinking fund. Capital projects. This is our capital projects for the year end. Uh, this is the sale that was in 2016, 18 months ago, and we have spent all of it. Um, and that and part of that money was used to build Wing Song, Wind Song Elementary as well as Hughes Elementary. And these are other projects that we did, mostly land, portables, other purchases that was approved during the year. This last column, this last uh, graph shows you uh, this last bond, of bond 2017, where we stood, we have spent tw almost 24 million, over $24 million uh, of that 16 million was in land, and now we're getting into the construction part of the two elementaries that we've funded uh, two payments already to Pogue, and the, of course the architect fees represents the, the rest of the balance. Any questions with the financial summary for the month of August?
favor? recommendation on adoption of the tax rate to fund the budget that was approved last month. You can view, see the very flat line there. Uh, and just uh, again to make one other point on as, as local revenue goes up, state, as we said, state revenue goes down, we do not think, well, hey, let's just lower the rate uh, and force the state to pay more. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work that way. They base that on what you should be raising locally at the max rate. The state bases their world on max rates. So even though, so we if we did that, of course we've run the numbers. If we did that, then then their share still stays the same. Uh, so I recommend to stay at the dollar sixty-seven, which it's been that way since seemingly forever, uh, to fund the budget that was approved last month. Thank you, Mays. Thank you. Uh, you see the, the laundry list of, of policies that were cleaned up, updated, uh, some from a lot from uh, legislative cleanup from sessions to, to make sure it was all the way it needed to be to be in line and a lot of to make sure that it was con our policies were consistent with our practices. That was uh, a bigger deal. Uh, hadn't done this for some time. So it was it was uh, more than time to, to do this. So I recommend that you approve uh, the recommendations from TASB in conjunction with uh, the committee that worked with them to to uh, for the policy updates. There's a lot of updates. Yes, sir. This is, uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, that's just not what the tea leaves are saying right now, but that'll be everywhere. But who knows? It's just uh, seemingly we're, every school is one incident away from it driving future legislation. So, uh, but that's not, that's not a part of any discussions right now. They're still, their position right now is still to be very restrictive on where they go in. Uh, so that, hasn't been morphed to that to that way yet. Action item. I move council. Thank you, Michelle. Second. Thank you, Ms. Smith. All in favor? This is to extend the, the cabling agreement uh, as allowed in the initial uh, <coughs> approval uh, for uh, the additional year uh, at the same rates that we have. I don't know if Mr. Devalesco has anything to add to that, but sort of standard action item. I recommend that you approve. Any questions? Mayor Smith. to Ms. Smith's uh, comment. Uh, this, this is cleaning up uh, two sessions ago. We had to take action. Uh, well, the old law was if, if someone said we want a camera, then it went in in every sped classroom across the district, even though they were requesting it in one. This legislative session, they cleaned it up. So there's, there's more specific parameters that it goes in specifically to the classroom and there's certain qualifiers for it to even be allowed in that classroom. But I remember we had, didn't we have the guidelines for this? Yes, and the board back yes, and it out. yes, yeah. sir. So this this is all the most current, up-to-date stuff that I recommend your, your approval on. Deborah Smith, all in favor? Tip. Okay, we need a motion though to go into executive session. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Michelle, all in favor? Perfect.
You guys are welcome to stick around if you want. Or not. Whatever you want to do.